we will be demonstrating basic clipper cutting techniques that will teach you the skills for home clipper cutting. The techniques that will be demonstrated are easy to learn and can be applied to many different hairstyles and all age groups. Our first haircut will demonstrate how a crew cut style is achieved using basic clipper cutting techniques. Begin by studying the hair's growth patterns and cowlicks in the frontal area, the neck area, and crown area of the head. Five cutting lengths ranging from 1 8 to 1 half inch can be achieved by adjusting the comb attachment with your thumb. The attachment comb has a beveled surface which makes it easy to taper the hair. Taper by using an up and outward motion. Adjust the comb attachment to the number 4 position which will leave the hair approximately one half inch. Lay the clipper flat to the head, cutting up and out in one smooth motion. Continue using this technique as we work our way around the ear. Continue tapering from the neck to the crown with the adjustable comb attachment set at the number four, one half inch position. Using a slow, smooth motion, cut from the neck to the crown. Continue cutting around the head using the up and outward motion. It is important to keep the adjustable attachment comb flat to the head when tapering. As you can see, following these simple techniques makes home clipper cutting easy, plus saving you time and money. Place the clipper so the adjustable attachment comb is flat to the head and cut around the ear. Continue tapering until reaching the front temple area, being careful not to cut too high into the bang area. With the clipper attachment set at the number four, one half inch position, begin at the top of the ear, cutting over the head, across the crown. In the crown area, you have a swirl growth pattern. We will cut in a counterclockwise direction, cutting against the growth pattern. Continue cutting, working your way around the crown with the attachment comb in the one half inch number four position, cutting to the top of the head. The Andis 5-in-1 adjustable comb clipper is lightweight and easy to use. Now we begin tying the front into the back. Place the clipper at the midpoint between the front hairline and crown. Cut back to the crown following the curvature of the head. Continue cutting from the midpoint to the crown, working from the top of the head to the sides, tying in the top and sides. Beginning at the temple area, tie the sides and top together. Lay the clipper attachment comb flat to the head and cut up and over following the natural contour of the head. Notice that we cut against the growth pattern, coming up the side and back to the crown. Now we will blend the bang area into the top. Comb the hair up and follow the comb with the clipper.
cutting the hair just below the comb. Repeat this technique to blend the bangs into the top and sides of our haircut. Here we are using the clipper over comb technique to blend the bangs and side together. Position the adjustable comb to the closest setting. Now use the clipper over comb technique to finish blending the bangs into the top and sides of our haircut. Position the adjustable comb to the number 3, 13 32 inch setting. Blend the sides to the top using the up and out technique we learned earlier. By blending the hair, we create a uniform appearance without gaps or lines. Repeat this technique working around the head. Continue tapering around to the temple. Position the adjustable comb attachment to the number 2, 5 16 inch setting. Taper the sideburn in front of the ear. And continue tapering around the ear, working up from the base of the hairline. Using your thumb, adjust the attachment comb to the closest position and repeat this tapering technique around the head. To remove the attachment comb, press the button on the lever with your thumb and pull off. To trim the sideburn, reverse your clipper, cutting down against the skin. Trim around the ear using the clipper over comb technique. Hold the ear forward and using the point of the blade, trim around the ear. Without the adjustable comb attachment, the clipper blade cuts to 1 16th inch, which is the perfect length to finish our crew cut style. Oil your blades before and after each haircut to ensure that your Andis blades remain sharp. Before you begin each haircut, familiarize yourself with the growth patterns and cowlicks of your subject's hair. Pay special attention to the hairline and growth pattern of the neck area and crown. We will start our gentleman's cut by tapering from the bottom of the ear around the neck in the area shown here by the comb. With the adjustable clipper comb positioned on the number four, one half inch setting, we will taper using the up and out technique. The clipper attachment comb is beveled, so when you make your taper cut, you start at the hairline and cut up and out. Having the adjustable attachment comb set on the number four setting will prevent you from cutting too close. With the adjustable comb attachment set on the number four position, taper the sideburn and around the ear. Repeat on the opposite side, tapering the sideburn with the up and out tapering technique. Position the clipper at the base of the neck and cut up and around the ear.
Set the adjustable comb on the number two position, 5 16 inch setting, and taper up from the bottom of the neckline. This is blending and tapering the neckline. Using your thumb, raise the adjustment lever to position the comb at the 1 8 inch close setting. Taper the hairline to your previous cut. Remove the comb attachment by pressing the button and sliding the comb off. Using the point of the blade, cut along the underside of the comb to trim the bangs. We are cutting the bangs, creating a square masculine look. Tie in the front and sides by combing the side forward and cutting from the bang to the sideburn. Hold the ear down and use the point of the clipper blade to define the sideburn next to the ear. To taper the sideburn, roll the comb out and follow the comb with the clipper. Continue tapering up and out from the head to blend the sides. Hold the ear forward, cutting with the point of the clipper to the natural hairline. Repeat the tapering technique behind the ear. Continue behind the ears, rolling the comb out and cutting across the comb. This will taper and blend the sides and back together. Continue tapering across the back of the head to the opposite side. Now we will demonstrate the clipper over finger technique. Comb the hair up at a 90 degree angle to the head and cut by guiding the clipper across your fingers. This will create a layering effect. Blending the top and side together. Repeat on the opposite side, cutting from front to back using the clipper over finger technique. Invert the clipper to block the sideburn. While holding the ear forward, use the point of the blade and cut to the natural hairline. Invert your clipper to cut a square masculine neckline. Use the clipper to cut the hair below the neckline. Invert the clipper to cut a straight hairline behind the ear. To finish our gentleman's taper cut, we block the sideburn and trim around the ear.